Hi folks, um, uh, very good evening to all of you. Uh, this is Kumar Gupta here. Um, well, I run this institute, Isha Training Solutions, uh, and um, I would like to talk today about the course that I, uh, I take sessions on, the live online sessions, which is performance testing using Load Runner. Um, usually I cover both the basics and the advanced uh, with this course. Uh, uh, well, if you would, if you have been following my YouTube channel and you have seen some of my videos and you like them, and uh, if you are wondering, you know, if there is any trainings going on, a uh, lot of students do call me up and ask me if there are any trainings going on. Uh, so that's the reason why I kind of made this video. Yes. I do uh, take some online sessions, uh, which is performance testing using Load Runner. Um, it covers both basics and advanced. And if you would like to register yourself or you'd like to be a part of this course or the training, uh, well, you just need to call me on this number, uh, which is mentioned at the bottom, which is 801-995-2427. Um, uh, you can uh, make a direct call or uh, I'm very active on WhatsApp as well on the same number. So you can just ping me on the WhatsApp or call me on the WhatsApp or call directly. Or um, you're not comfortable calling, you can directly email me on kgupta.testingtraining at gmail.com. I repeat the email address again. It's kgupta dot testing training at gmail dot com. Well, on that note, uh, let's have a quickly look at you know what I cover um, as a part of this coursework. But before getting there, if you're interested to see like you know um, uh, what is this guy have done, what are his credentials, um, does he have a real time experience? Uh, uh, to answer those questions, uh, well, I quickly talk about myself. Uh, I've close to 13 to 14 years of IT experience. Uh, I've done my master's in U.S. from University of uh, Oklahoma. Uh, uh, well, uh, I've started working in U.S. for a while, then uh, moved back to India. Uh, in performance testing, I have close to eight years of experience and overall uh, four to five years of training experience. Uh, that's what I would say about myself. So going back to the contents, as to what I cover as a part of this course. Uh, well, uh, this is my website, uh, asiatrainingsolutions.org. As you can see, I cover Load Runner, JMeter, and in Load Runner, there is the SAP GUI protocol. So I take these sessions. I made this as three different sessions. If you're not comfortable attending the live sessions or the timings doesn't work out for you, or uh, you wanted to do um, the course at your own pace, and all that, yes, I have the recorded videos available as well for uh, Load Runner, which is the one, you know, Advanced and Basics, performance testing using Load Runner, Advanced and Basics, and SAP GUI protocol, you know, using the Load Runner. So I have the recorded videos available as well. So the course content would be same. And if you're wondering what are these recorded videos, well, the recorded videos are pulled out from the live sessions, are pulled out from the live sessions. So they're pretty much just like the live sessions, okay? So the course content, everything is same for both the recorded videos as well as the live sessions. So let me quickly go to this load runner, uh, which is advanced and basics, uh, and see what is the course content like. And you can go to this page, initiatrainingsolutions.org, and you can quickly look at uh, about uh, me and then what are the things about this course and what students have to say about this course. And uh, this is something I get to hear from a lot of students after attending the course. Um, earlier, before attending the course, you know, I just know how to record, playback, add transactions, checkpoints, and correlations. But after attending the course, uh, I really understood in and about about the co about the tool. I'm able to troubleshoot the issues all by myself. And now, uh, when I go to the interviews, I'm much more confident. So this is what people have to say. So I just added that note over here. Well, coming to the course content, uh, as I've told you, it's not just about Load Runner, but it is about performance testing using Load Runner, which means that it talks a lot about performance testing, then it gets into the tool. So every performance tester needs to understand uh, the architecture of the application. It's extremely important. So you know, why a performance tester needs to understand the architecture and talks about different types of architectures. Um, like two tier, three tier. First, it talks with the servers, understanding the servers. Uh, then it goes to the two tier, three tier, and entire. Uh, then we get to the introduction of performance testing as to why it falls under non-functional testing, um, the, the common performance problems, performance testing lifecycle, 
what are the different tools used for performance testing, what are the different types of tests like load tests, stress tests, volume, endurance, and scalability tests. So all that will be covered and more importantly, the workload modeling, which is extremely important. So uh, here we're gonna talk about the little flaw where a lot of people ask interview questions around that. So it's, this is a very, very important topic if you're going for the interview. And uh, we talk about the NFR gathering. So in the interviews typically talks about like what kind of requirements or non-functional requirements that you have gathered. So here I'm gonna give you some real time examples as well so that you, you kind of understand, you know, what is this NFR gathering about and uh, you can go and talk in the interviews. Then we move into the load runner. So here we talk, the, a lot of emphasis is there on the architecture of load runner and different components involved, the protocol advisor. And then we get into the view gen. So it talks about the correlation, web rate save param uh, with the regular expressions as well if the leg, right boundary, left boundary is say, changing. And here we're gonna talk about different arguments of web rate save param, uh, like ordinal all, save count and save length and correlation rules. So checkpoints, both the kinds of checkpoints like text checkpoints, image checkpoints. And with this, we talk about the error handling as well as to why error handling is required and uh, how to insert the transactions, comments, logs, and how to build a script, how to structure a script, how, to, how does a real time script looks like, then parameterization and advanced parameterization concepts as well. And uh, then we get into the basic C functions and why we need to understand C, uh, what, uh, how to convert the C variables into LR parameters and uh, um, how to do the C programming, like the basics it will be covered. Then the runtime settings and uh, error handling, uh, which is an important concept also will be covered. Um, then we move into, and obviously you know, the scripts covering all these topics. Uh, then we may get into the controller part here. We're going to talk about uh, the real world scenario, the basic schedule, the, uh, the real world schedule by group and by scenario in detail. And we have to, do, and uh, there we're going to talk about the LGs, how to connect different LGs to the controller um, and all that. And uh, uh, how to calculate the number of LGs required for the projects. And, uh, uh, and then how, if you're monitoring the windows, uh, how to, what kind of counters you add, um, how to do this Windows uh, monitoring that will be covered. And finally, the analyzer, where you calculate how to uh, look at the report, how to do further analysis, how to make a complete report out of it, and uh, what is this 90 percentile response times, the importance of uh, hits per second graph and the throughput graph, and why do we compare or merge these graphs. So uh, server-side metrics, how do we look at it? So all this will be covered as a part of the analyzer. And uh, we talk about some basic bottlenecks uh, as to um, uh, some problem statements will be given and the basic uh, uh, bottlenecks, you know, which happens in the real world that will be there. And uh, finally, um, uh, I'll be giving a project uh, on a completely different application so that you can do a hands-on and understand uh, uh, the various things that you have uh, learned from the class you will be able to implement um, in this in this particular project and you will be able to get the resume guidance as well if you have to so this whole course is for 179 dollars uh, whether you are going for an online session or the recorded session the price is same so <clears throat> this is about it guys so uh, if you already know Load Runner, uh, there is another course called, uh, uh, and you didn't uh, you want to explore other protocols. By the way, this whole course is with Web HTTP HTML protocol. But if you're interested and want to look at the other protocols, um, well, I have another protocol, a course on another protocol, SAP GUI protocol. Stuff uh, covered in this as well. It's a close to 18 hours of training that will be given on the SAP GUI protocol as well. So um, you can just look at what will be covered as a part of this course as well uh, by, by clicking on this link. So thank you guys. So as I've told you, if you're interested, you can uh, just email me on kgupta.testingtraining at gmail.com. So I'll write it down here for you. So kgupta.testingtraining at gmail.com. So kgupta.testingtraining at gmail.com. Thanks for listening to these videos, guys. Uh, I hope uh, uh, you are enjoying my channel and learning uh, some uh, new interview questions. So I'll try to keep adding more videos as and when I could. Uh, thank you for your time.